I want to introduce former Arizona State Senator Amanda Aguirre. Ms. Aguirre recently serves in the capacity of President and CEO of the Regional Center for Water Health Incorporated since 1991 and its subsidiary San Luis Guatin Clinic, a primary care rural health medical center. She has moved, uh, she has been involved for more than 30 years in health care and business administration and has lived in Yuma for the past 24 years. Just for that, she deserves an award. In, tw uh, in 2004, Ms. Aguirre became the first female and first Hispanic to represent District 24 in the Arizona House of Representatives. In 2005, Ms. Aguirre re uh, sponsored the Breast Cancer Awareness License Plate Legislation with proceeds benefiting cancer screening for uninsured women. And I'll bet you that was a fight, but she pulled it up. In 2006, Ms. Aguirre was elected to the Arizona State Senate for District 24. As a senator, Ms. Aguirre sponsored SB 1263 Autism Spectrum Disorder Stevens Law which requires private medical insurance companies to provide autism intervention service coverage under their insurance plan benefits. I'll bet you those companies were thrilled about that. But she got it made. She's a woman that gets things done. I'm proud to have met her the other day, and today I saw her again. I'm very blessed by that. But on top of that, on top of passing all this legislate, you know, this legislation, on top of doing all these activities, she has one more that she's extremely proud of, that is the crown of her life. And that's, Ms. Amanda Aguirre is the proud mother of a successful son and daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Amanda Aguirre. stories with us. Your stories make a lot of difference to us. They make us even stronger to go and fight even harder. And it's for you that we do this event. I want to recognize some of the dignitaries today, a good friend of mine, also the battle cancer, a good friend, Bernard Stewart, a county board supervisor for you to come. Also the more back in 1987, was instrumental in getting our agency started, along with the University of Arizona. As you know, we are affiliated with UME. Many people don't know that, but we are. So that's why we tackle a lot of the rural health challenges in Western Arizona and along the state. But today, we have a number of sponsors that you'll see on the screen coming up on and off. And without them, we couldn't be here today. I also would like to recognize a person that has, a friend of mine too, that for many years, they step up and said, we'll do all the advertising on the end. Mr. Paul Hibbert, would you please stand up and be So, um, my staff, of course, have worked very diligent to get this event today. The flowers, the tablecloth, food. So thank you all for making this day a unique day for all of us to cheer. And most of all, to celebrate, help us join in the celebration of life one at a time. It only takes one at a time. So thank you again, and welcome to our event, One at a Time.